we shall now take a look at a program where we are going to exchange the contents of two memory locations A and B without the use of a third memory location. So what I am going to do here is as usual I am going to type the header files which are required for reading data. This header file is for clearing the screen and IO manip so that you can end up generating new lines. Dot H. So as usual int main I am going to declare variables. The first variable is going to be A and the second variable is going to be B. I am going to first clear the screen. So if there is an output from the previous execution that gets cleared. Then I am going to ask the user to enter the values of A and B. Enter the values of A and B or I can say enter two numbers. All right, both mean the same. So once I enter two numbers, I'm going to use the end line so that the cursor ends up going to the next line. So using C in, I am going to read in the values into A and B. So before doing the exchange, I would like to print the values of A and B. So values of A and B before exchange. So what I am going to do, I am going to say C out. I'll keep it simple so that I don't have to type much. A is A and B is this particular value. I'll leave a little space here so that after A, it shows with a little space, the value of B. So I'm going to show B now. This is the value of A and B before I'm doing any exchange. Now let me show you the logic for exchange which has already been exchanged. A is given the value of A plus B. Then A is assigned the value A minus, sorry, it should be B is assigned the value A minus B. And then finally I should get the value of A as A is assigned the value A minus B. So if I do this, I'm good enough. The exchange should have really taken place. This logic has been explained in the flowchart algorithm as well as in the theory session before this. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to print the values of A and B. So I'm going to say C out exchanged values, exchanged values. All right. And I'm going to use the end line. All right. End line and I'm going to say C out. Sorry, C out. A is A and then I'm going to say B is B. So this way the values get exchanged and the exchanged value should be printing. Now as usual I'm going to use the get ch so that the screen is held back. In the initial program I've shown you a demo where if you forget to put the get ch what happens you come back to this input screen again. So what we shall do is as usual, let's try to compile this. There may be errors. You never know. Okay, there are a couple of errors, which is fine. All right. Undefined symbol count. So instead of typing C out, I must have typed sound count as usual. I do that mistake quite frequently, which is fine. Then let me compile again. Let's see if there's any more errors. There's still one more error. Function should return a value because I've written int main. So I have forgotten to put a zero here. Now I should be okay. So now I can do a build all. And if you see it's compiled perfectly. Now I can click on run. So it's asking me to enter two numbers. Let me enter big numbers so that you can really see the output. 500 and 300 are my two numbers. A is 500, B is 300. So before exchange, the value of A and B is 500 and 300 respectively. So I have again forgotten to properly format it. Let me put end lines so that you can see it properly. So here what I am going to do here is I am going to put a end line here. So let me take this cursor here and let me put this fellow here. So if I put an end line here, it's going to look. So in case you want to see the output screen, just hold the alt and press the F5 key. So you can, if you hold the alt and press the F5 or the function key, you can see the 
output in the sense you can see the previous output so you know what mistakes you ended up making now what i can do is i press the space bar i come back here now in case you want to see how the program is going to look after making these changes to the formatting let us rerun it so i'll press ctrl and f9 it's going to ask me to enter two numbers i'll press two number is 200 is a 400 is b so when i first printed the value of a is 200 value of b is 400 after exchange you're seeing the value of a is 400 and the value of b is 200 generally it's a good idea to test this program with multiple values let's try entering negative numbers and see what happens minus 900 and this is minus 800 let's see if this works so if you see it's working in both the cases even when i enter negative numbers it's working now let me enter one positive and one negative so one positive can be 900 the other negative can be minus 888 so let's see if this exchange still works it's doing it perfectly before exchange the value of b is minus 888 a is 900 after exchange a is taking minus 888 b is taking 900 so with this i believe we are good enough so i've just shown you how you can exchange two values without the use of a temporary variable so this is your lab program number two subsequently i will demo and show you lab program number three four and so on